Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How's it going? Ready good for today? Teacher. Hello. Good afternoon, teacher. Okay, good afternoon. Are you ready for today? I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Oh, cool. thank you for joining everybody. Uh, tell me, did you have a great weekend? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Nice. That sounds good. Uh, listen up. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We're going to start in a few seconds. And the first thing that I'm going to remember is to pass the tent. As soon as you listen to your name, don't forget to say press, please. I'm gonna go first with Madame Patrice. Present. Thank you. Alexander Marroquin. Present teacher. Ana Silvia. Present. Thanks. Continue with Carolina Elizabeth. Carolina Elizabeth. Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Elizabeth. Carlos Jose. Teacher. Yeah. Hey, how are you, teacher? Hello, hello. Okay, Dalia Lilibet. Alex. Present, teacher. Okay. Present. Thank you. Dora you Alicia. Present, teacher. Okay. Enrique Guevara. Hazel. Hazel. Jeremias. Rivas. Joana Raquel. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Salina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Lady Julissa. Present. Thanks. Juliana Amelia. Yeah, no, Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Sanabria. Thank you, thank you. Marina Sanabria. Ricardo Albino. Hello. Present. Thank you. Sandra Melissa. Sandra Melissa. Are you yes, there? I'm here, teacher. Okay, I'm thanks. here, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Teacher. Are you yes, there? Teacher. Dígame. Teacher. Dígame. No sé si ya me mencionó. Sí, ya la mencioné. No sé pero si. Okay. Ya... Ahorita la pongo en list, no se preocupe. Ya la había mencionado, pero no se había unido todavía. No se preocupe. Gracias. Yeah. Are you yes, there? Yo tampoco sé, pero ve. Ok, permítame, permítame, para no confundirme. Ok, Enrique. Thank you. Lo que hacemos con este, si gustan, se espera un momento. Ya los voy a mencionar nuevamente. Soraya Isbeth. Present teacher. Thanks, Stephanie Isabel. Stephanie Isabel. Isabel, perdón. Vanessa. Thanks. Susana Carolina. Susana Carolina. Tatiana Maria. I'm here. Thank you. Leonel Hernandez. Leonel Hernandez. 
Laura Bertila. Present teacher. Thank you. Alba Patricia. Eric Rivas. Michelle. And Edgar Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, ya los puse en lista algunos que no, que pues es, no, no, no me escuchan bien. Teacher. Dígame. Teacher. Dígame, dígame. Uh, I don't complete the exercise in the platform in the weekend because I don't have time in, me, in my house. But uh, today I complete the only exercise in the platform. Okay, please, please. Thank you. No worries. Okay. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Carolina. Thank you for joining. How are you? Thank you. My pleasure. How are you, Carolina? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you too. ¿A quién he mencionado? Bueno, voy a mencionar los que no. Teacher. No escuché. No escuché. Sí, lo mencioné, pero ya se me hizo, no se preocupe. Thank you. Ah, voy, a, voy, a, voy a repetir here, ahorita. Thank you. Ya lo, bueno, ya lo había puesto, porque lo había visto yo. Ya lo había visto acá en, en, en el listo. Eh, voy a mencionar los que no he mencionado. Claudia Lisette. Hazel. Marina Sanabria. Háganme saber si me escuchan, please. Okay. Los veo acá, pero no, no me contestan. Stephanie Isabel. Susana Carolina. Leonel Hernández. En Michelle. Bueno, son las que no, no están por el momento. Marina ya la... Marina ya está lista, no se preocupe, pero hágame saber si me escucha. No me respondió las dos veces que le, le, le hice... ¿Qué me es su nombre? Ok, y... Welcome everybody, good afternoon, welcome to start the, the class. Let me display the presentation. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, no problem. Ya lo puse en el Carlos. Thank you. Bueno, antes de iniciar, solo, bueno, nuevamente recuerden hacer énfasis acá en la plataforma. Espero que hayan podido avanzar eh, durante el fin de semana y, por supuesto, la semana pasada, eh, específicamente el jueves, que hayan terminado hacia la sección 2. Recuerden que eso fue lo que les mencioné, de que deben de terminar hasta la sección 2, bueno, jueves pasado. Tiene que tener completos ahí. Y, um, bueno, seguir avanzando, ¿verdad? Durante el fin de semana espero que lo hayan hecho. Recuerden que hay que ir avanzando. Y, por supuesto, si ustedes van avanzando mucho más, excelente. No me voy a casar de repetirlo, ¿verdad? Que la práctica es lo más importante, ¿verdad? Además de acá, de reforzar los contenidos, etcétera, ¿verdad? Es que sigamos así, los que hemos avanzado bastante, eh, sigamos haciéndolo. Los que nos hemos quedado, tal vez, o vamos al, al ritmo ¿verdad? de las clases, las también. pero los que sí nos hemos quedado, les invito a avanzar y continuar en esos días. Espero que lo vean este fin de semana. Si no lo hemos hecho, les pido de favor que continuemos, ¿verdad? Continuamos con. Eh, el avance de la plataforma. Eh, thank you, Alba. Yeah, I can see you, Alba. How are you, Alba? Good afternoon. You want to take a here? Vamos. Okay. 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 Okay.
Pienso que ahorita quizás, recuerden que mañana hay que hacer el midterm. Mañana terminamos la, la semana 2 y básicamente la sección 3. Así es que quiero explicar acá el midterm, cómo se ha estructurado las secciones, qué contiene cada sección y, eh, bueno, las más que no se ya que eso lo tenemos que hacer mañana. Lo, lo dije la, la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Es que lo voy a explicar el lunes, el día antes de hacerlo, el midterm. Como pueden observar, el intro contiene cinco partes, cinco secciones. La primera es el listening. Introductions. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Vamos a explicar la conversación y a seleccionar la respuesta correcta. Ok. Vamos a explicar acá. Y está seleccionado, bueno, tenemos dos conversaciones básicamente. La primera contiene cuatro preguntas, la segunda tiene cuatro preguntas. Esta es la primera parte. Listening. Leamos primero, leamos las instrucciones bien. La parte B, fill in the blanks. Instructions, fill in the blanks with the correct form of B. Es opción rellenar los espacios en blanco con la forma correcta del verbo ser o estar. Verbo to be. Acá recuerden, vamos a escribir lo que hace falta. No escribir todas las preguntas, solo lo que falta con el verbo to be. Según la estructura, ¿verdad? Son dos partes igual, completar. Completar los espacios en blanco. La parte C, circle the word. Circle the word, instructions, choose the right positive adjective. Vamos a escoger el objetivo posesivo correcto. Bueno, acá vamos a hablar de seleccionar porque son opciones múltiples. Seleccionar. E igual son dos partes. Yo voy a enviar, perdón. Eh, la parte B sería, eh, parte de acá, complete the sentences, eh, fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. No tengan los espacios con las expresiones de tiempo correctas. Igual acá, recuerden, completar la oración con el espacio que hace, lo uno que hace falta. No escribir toda la oración y no usemos punto final. Y punto de sacar la oración, solo la palabra. Y no utilizamos mayúscula, solo minúscula. Porque se completa la oración. ¿Cuáles son las partes? Y la última sección que es con la parte E: Reading. Read the email, then check the correct answer. Vamos a leer el correo electrónico y luego a seleccionar las respuestas correctas. Leemos acá, cuidadosamente, y luego vamos seleccionando la opción correcta. Solo son cuatro. Y damos en ver y ahí finalizamos el midterm. Recuerden que este, el midterm, va seguido. Después de la sección 3 lo vamos a encontrar. Pero igual, si ustedes ingresan acá a la plataforma, el midterm va a estar acá en la sección 3. Acá dice midterm exam. Le damos ahí clic y los va a redirigir a, al examen encima. A lo que estábamos en ese momento. Es que ese básicamente es su midterm. Lo que ya le hicimos fue pues, excelente. Que vamos trabajando, ¿verdad? Si vamos trabajando las demás secciones, si queremos seguir avanzando, ¿verdad? Y si vamos al ritmo, pues, falta el mito, no lo hemos hecho. Recuerden que es mañana. Mañana. O sea, es que esas son las cinco secciones, las cinco partes del de mito. Entonces, si hay preguntas con respecto al mito, con respecto a la plataforma, algún ejercicio, etc. No question, teacher. Pues alguien más se nos ha unido hace un momento. Veamos. Si alguien se ha unido, me, me comenta, por favor. Creo que no, tenemos siempre los mismos. Eh, bueno, nos hacemos preguntas con respecto a la plataforma, al micro exam. Todo en orden, todo claro. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Oh. I'm sorry? No. Okay. Let's read with the class. This is class number seven. Today is Monday, July 26. The topic for today is demonstratives. 
one and once. Okay? In other words, we're going to talk about the most of the pronouns. Most of the pronouns. Moving on and let's begin with that. Okay, first we have the demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative pronouns. What are the demonstrative pronouns? But first, let's see when do we use them. A demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun used to demonstrate or show any object or something or to point to something in a sentence. It's called a demonstrative pronoun. Okay, so you use it to demonstrate or to show any objects, or it can be something else. But in some cases, we point. We point with our fingers, right? With our fingers. For example, these are the demonstrative pronouns. Yes? That, this, and those. Yes? That, this, and those. We have four demonstrative pronouns. And every of them has a, a purpose, right? If when we use this, 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 is because an object, an object or something is near, is near, right? Is near. And when we use that and those, is because an object, an object or something is far, which is the opposite. Near means that something is close to you. In far, it means that, yeah, it is, it is not, we're taking to a kind of distance, a distance, right? Probably you see a, you see a car, you say that car, that car. But in my case, for example, the lap, my laptop is close to me. It's near me. So I can say, eh, this is my computer. This is my laptop. Because it is near. It is near me. It is close to me. But if I say, for example, I can see a car like what? Let's say uh, from two meters, right? So I can see a car that it is on that street and I can say that car, that car. So it's different. This, 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 this. This, this. So this one is shorter, the pronunciation is shorter, and the other one is longer. Acá con la pronunciación es diferente, porque una es corta y la otra es larga. This, 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 this. In an object or objects are near, near. That and those, that and those. That teacher. I'm not sure far yet, Tom. Uh, teacher, uh, do you Tell listen me. me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, are those adjectives? No, are those adjectives used for one or more sentences? No, these are pronouns. These are pronouns, not adjectives. Ah, these, are, these are pronouns. Okay. Yeah, pronouns. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah, they are pronouns, pronouns. Okay, look at the images. Look at the images, we have some apples. Uh, in the first one, the apple is clothes, it's clothes. Probably I have in my hand, right? This is an apple, this is an apple. Uh, this is singular, yes. Tell me. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. En la, en la, en la picture, eh, se ve diferente porque dice this, si pone la imagen, porfa. Yeah, it is, it is. La imagen está. Uh, 
Ajá, arriba, a la derecha. This. Apo. Yeah, the, it's missing an, uh, the article. No, no es case. Están cerca, son varios. I'm sorry? No, es que en la foto dice this apple. En la, oh. de la derecha. No yeah, es then, this no. plural. There is, there is a mistake in here. There is a mistake. Let me fix it. Ajá, porque la debería de ser that, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Let me fix it. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, no, yes. Yeah, that was a mistake in there, sorry. This is, this is an apple. So the apple probably is in your in your hand or it is close to you. Probably, yeah, I'm here, I'm here and I have a, a desk. I have a desk over here, right? So I have an apple on the desk. I have an apple on the desk. This is an apple because the apple is close to me. Or imagine that this is the apple, right? This is an apple. I manipulate but I have the apple in my hand, in my hand. So it is close to me. This is an apple, okay? And this is singular, this is singular. But if you say in plural, imagine that I have more apples, I have three, three apples. I say, these are apples, these are apples. And again, the apples are close to me. They are near, near me. So the apples probably are in, on the table and they are close to me. These are apples. So this, this is for plural. This is for plural. And these two things are near. They are close to me. On the other hand, on the other hand, so the objects are from are far from you. The objects or the things are far from you. So now we can say that is an apple. And most of the times, most of the times you point with your finger. That is an apple. That is an apple. Okay. For example, if you go to a supermarket, you go to super selectors and you're looking for apples for one apple, you say. Okay, that is an apple. So you can see the apple, or you can see the apples, but they are not close to you. They are far from you, right? So you can see them in a distance, in a distance. That is an apple. And that is for singular. That is for singular. But now the object or the thing is far. Then those, those is plural. Those is plural. And again, the object or the objects are far. They are not close to you. They are not close to you. Those are apples. Those are apples. Okay. So you're looking for apples in a supermarket and you can see the apples. Those are apples. And again, you point with your finger, those are apples. And that's the way we recognize the demonstrative pronouns. And again, those is plural, and this one means for something is, but things are far from you, okay? This is the way we use 
demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. Okay, any questions over here? No, thank you. No teacher, no question. Thanks. This is, for example, with, with a cell phone. I mean, it can be whatever object, right? Uh, I have, yeah, the cell phone. This is a cell phone. This is a cell phone. If you go to an electronics store, let's say you go to Samsung store, so you can see cell phones, right? Or you, you, you are in that specific area, in that, in that specific area, you're looking for a cell phone and you can see a lot of cell phones. So I say, these are cell phones because the cell phones are close to you. Okay, you are in the store, you are inside of the store, right? And you can see a lot of cell phones, many cell phones, many smartphones. You see, okay, you say, these are cell phones because you have many. You can see many and they are close to you. But for example, if you go, if you are outside of the store, you're outside of the store and you can see the, the cell phones, you can say that is a good cell phone. That is a cell phone. Or you can say those are cell phones. It depends if you're using singular or using plural. But that's the way you express, or you demonstrate something, right? You demonstrate or you show something. That's the way we use the most of the pronouns, right? Any questions over here? All good, teacher. Thanks. Somebody else? No? Thank you, thank you. Okay, moving on to the following part. Thank you. All right, here we have some examples. This is specific demonstratives. This, these, that, those. Listen again. This, these, that, those. Listen. This, 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 that, those. This, 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 that, those. For example, in questions, we can say, you're looking for something, you want to buy something, let's say uh, a necklace, a necklace. How much, a singular and plural? I need you to pay attention to this table. A singular, plural, we have a question, question forms. Nearby, it means that something is close to you, right? We use this or this. Far, we use that or we use those. It is plural, right? For singular, let's go with singular first. How much? How much is? That's for a question, right? You want to ask for the, the price of something, the price. Probably you're looking for a necklace. You're in a jewelry store. You want to buy a necklace, right? Una cadena, un collar. How much is this necklace? How much is this necklace? So that is in in singular, and the object is close to you. How much is this necklace? Probably you have the necklace in your in your hands, right? How much is this necklace? How much is this necklace? And you, and you say, and you say, but another possibility is how much is this one. So in that case, we use one and ones. 
you can say how much is this one. Probably you have a choice, you have different choices or different options in the journey in about the necklace, right? But you can say you can be more specific. How much is this one? Because you have the necklace in your hands. Tenemos, en ese caso, la cadena, probablemente hay diferentes opciones. Ustedes tienen una en específico, ¿verdad? Una que les haya usado. How much is this one? And so we use one. One. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Um, en ese tipo de oraciones, no se utiliza el auxiliar do or that. No, no, because this is, a, in this case, we use the verb be. The verb be. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, in this case, we don't use do or does. We use how much is this necklace. We use uh, the verb be. Here's how much plus the verb be plus in this case it can be this that plus a complement like that how much is this necklace yeah I'm sorry entonces existen dos maneras de preguntar el precio yeah yeah Exactly, because the other way is, the other way is, but this is different. That in this case, we do or, do or does. How much does the necklace cost? So that is different. In this case, yeah, we use does. We use does. This is the forma, yeah. And then we say the necklace cost. Okay, we can say fifty dollars. In this one, the way you answer is it. It is it's fifty dollars. We know that we're referring to the necklace. It's it is. $50. Yeah, we had two ways to ask for the price. Yes. Okay. So we can say, how much is this necklace? How much is this necklace? Or we can say, how much is this one? So it depends, right? So in this case, the object is close to you. Cerca de usted o cerca de tener su mano. With the other one, with far, so in this case, it is far from you. So we say, how much is that necklace? It's different. So you point with your finger, right? How much is that necklace? How much is that necklace? Or we can say, how much is that one? And we use again one. Okay, because we know we're talking about what we're talking about. So if you cannot meet the, the subject, the noun, so the noun in this case, the object, it's okay. You can say how much is that one? You already said that, yeah, you're looking for a necklace. Looking for a necklace. In ese caso, si nosotros ya mencionamos el objeto, lo que estamos hablando, lo que estamos buscando, podemos omitir. Necklace, we can say how much is that one. We know that we're referring to the necklace because we already stated before, right? And again, in this case, you can answer it's, well, we can see the answer here. And we can use which one. For example, in this case, the seller uh, tells you which one. The blue one, the blue one. So probably they have different colors different colors. The blue one, the red one, the green one, etc. And then we can set the price. It's how much is the necklace? How much is this necklace? It's forty two dollars. It's fifty dollars. How much is that necklace? 
it's eighty dollars. How much is this one? It's forty two dollars. How much is that one? It's forty two dollars. So this is in singular. In singular. What about in plural? In plural, we change. We say now how much are. Much plus a verb in this case is arm. This is plural. Plus these, I will use those. Plus a complement. And we can say how much are these earrings? These earrings, right? These earrings. How much are these earrings? And we have the pair, right? The pair. How much? Are these earrings? Or we can say how much are these ones? How much are these ones? So now we're using ones. How much are these earrings? Or we can say how much are these ones? So now we're using ones. Okay? And the way we can answer is. They are, or there, I can say, $40. We don't say now it, because it's not singular. It is plural. How much are these ones? How much are these earrings? They're Teacher. $40. Yeah, okay. uh, excuse me. Uh, it's in incorrect if I said, if I say, uh, how much are these? Uh, if incorrect, how much are only these? If, are these only? No, no, it's for, that's another way, actually. How much are these? You can say like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. That's another way. As you can see, we have three ways. Three ways to, to ask the same question. I mean, if you want to avoid saying um, the, the object or the thing, can say uh, these ones, or you can say just this. Why? Because you have the, the object in your hands. Probablemente si queremos evitar decir el, el objeto, ¿verdad? Earrings. Eh, ya sabemos de lo que estamos hablando, porque estamos buscando eso, ¿verdad? O queremos comprar eso. Eh, podemos omitirlo. And we use ones, or we use one, in the singular. In this case, because it's plural, we use ones. Y pues tenemos el objeto probablemente en nuestras manos, está cerca de nosotros. How much are these ones? Or how much are these? It's okay. They're forty dollars. Then we have the other form. Those. When the object is far from you, we can say how much are those earrings? Probably the earrings are in a, you know, it can be in a cabinet or something else in a, in a glass. We can see the earrings, okay, we can look at the earrings from a long distance, and we can say, okay, how much are those earrings? And then the seller says, which ones? Which ones? Which ones? Which ones? And then you say, okay, the yellow ones, the yellow ones. They're $18. Or you can say, how much are those ones? How much are those ones? We know that we're referring to the earrings, right? How much are those earrings? Or how much are those ones? Talking about the earrings. You can say how much are those ones. Or you can say just how much are those. Okay. Again, we said there $18. $13. Again, you probably you ask how much are those earrings? And then the, the seller, the seller says which ones? Uh, the yellow ones, they're eighteen dollars. So this is the way we ask. We ask for the price of something, okay, and we use the demonstrative pronouns. Yes, 
this, that, and those. And we use one or ones. Okay. Any questions over here? No, teacher. Thanks. No question, teacher. Very good. Let's see now some prices. This is the way we, we set the prices. $42, $42. We can see this quantity of this price, we say $42. Uh, when we have this, for example, 59, and we have 95, right? So when we have this price or this quantity, how do we say it? We have two possibilities. We can say 59, 95, just like that. We can say 59, 95, like that. That's the first possibility. Or we can say $59 and 95 cents. That's a second possibility. You want to express prices, prices. 59.95 is easier, is faster. But you can say $59 in 95 cents. That's the second possibility to express the price or prices. Okay. Again, any doubts? So far, so good. Teacher, why some people use the word box? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another way to say like dollars. Box. Box. <clears throat> that's yeah. correct. It is. It is. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And they're referring to dollars. Dollars. Give me 50 bucks. They are saying, give me $50. For example, how much, how much is that, what, um, sales value. And then the other person says, it is, 50 bucks. So, yeah, they don't they, they don't say this. I mean, they, they just have that, and they say it is 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So it's the same. They use box in some cases. American people use box in dollars, etc. But most of the times they use box. That's another way to say dollars. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. Yeah. Anytime. Anybody else questions? No question, teacher. No okay. question. Moving on to the following part. Let me give you the way we use one and ones with the demonstratives. One and ones, they are pronouns. One and ones are pronouns. We can use the words one and ones to replace nouns in the sentence. Listen to this example first. We're going to replace nouns. I have two cards. The blue car is old and the black car is new. The blue car has two doors and the black car has four doors. As you can see, if you say the blue car and the black car, the blue car and the black car, that is redundant. Es redundante, ¿verdad? Mucha repetición. So you can avoid this if you use pronouns, one and once, right? So we know that we're talking about two cars. It is not necessary to say the blue car the black car because we know that we're talking about two cards. So you can replace them with one or ones. Now we can say, listen to this version. And we're using one and ones. Well, let's say it's just one. It says, I have two cards. The blue one is old and the black one is new. The blue one has two doors and the black one has four doors. See the difference? Says the difference. So we avoid repeating words. We avoid repeating the word car, 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 many times. So it's much better. 
much better. But that's the way you can avoid that. Right? So you redundant something. In esa forma evitamos eso. Alta repetición. Use one of ones. That's how we use it. So let me let me show you, let me give you an example of a real life setting. We have a sample conversation. This is a short conversation. It says, is that your, your car? Is that your car? Listen, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We know that we refer into cars. Why? Because the first person asks about the car, right? So we're talking about cars. It is not necessary to say which one, the red car or the blue car. No, because we are talking about cars. We can re replace car and we can use one. We can use one instead of car. So we avoid repetition. Say hey, which one, the red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the way we include one and once. It's okay, Enrique, no problem. Can you hear me, Enrique? Escucha? Escucha bien todos, por cierto? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, no worries. If you have any questions, you can ask me in case you couldn't listen to something in, in the class, right? Like just ask me and of course I'm going to explain something to you again. No worries. Okay, this is the way we use one on ones. One on ones. This is a sample conversation. This is a real life setting. Again, listen. Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one, yes it is, there's this one, okay? Again, that's the way we use one and ones. You can use it in order to replace a noun, a noun, like in this example, in the, in the, in the paragraph. I have two cars, the blue car, and the, it's old and the black car is new. So we can avoid saying that. The, the red car, the blue car, the black car, etc. Because that is something repetitive, right? Repetitive. Very good. So, any questions over here? No question. Thanks. Okay. No. Teacher. Okay. No teacher. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go with Tatiana, Tatiana and Alexander. Can you remember with the conversation, please? Okay. Is that is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. Yes. Thank okay. you. Um, hey, Ana Silvia, can you help me? And um, Jeremias, please. Ana Silvia, let's go. Let's, let's begin with the conversation. You, you start. You start. I do car. Which one? The red one or the blue one? The yes, it is. <clears throat> Thank you. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna go with Lady Ulyssa and I will select Adam. Adam Patrice. Adam, okay. you begin with the conversation. Is... Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that your car? <laughs> is that That's... your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one? Yes, it is. Yeah, very good. Thanks. Um, Laura and Saeed, can you help me? Conversation? 
Is that your car? Five. Which one? The red or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Thank you. Well, that's a sample conversation, right? So now we're gonna move on to the following part. I need you to practice with the following conversation. So somebody, yeah? Any question? Yeah, but I I'm sorry, okay. What up the drugs? Perdón, no, 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 le, no le logro escuchar. Me, 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 ¿Podría repetir? Sí. Do you have a question or do you want to practice with the conversation? No, que quería como este... Practicar ahí. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure, Jose. Okay, let's go with Jose Mario and I'm going to select Carolina. Jose Mario, you begin. Let's go. You start, Jose. Let's go. Se, se bien, se empieza. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Is that your girl? Which one, the red one or the blue one? Is, is that your car? I mean, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Carolina, one more time. Which one? Okay. Which, which one? Your the which red one? one or the... Continue, Jose. Continue. The red one. Say, continue. The red one. Escucha. Te mencionó Carolina lo, lo anterior. Te toca usted ahora. Eso tuvo. Para los que no sé, está bien, son issues. Yeah. Okay, eh, let's finish with the conversation, Carolina. The red one. Yes, it is. Yes, thank you, Carolina, and thank you, Jose. I think Jose is having some issues because he's out. But I hope he could join us soon. Okay, listen, we're going to move on to, thank you so much for your participation, guys. I appreciate. Moving on to the following activity, following exercise. What we need to do here is to complete the conversations and you need to use the words from the box. You have to use these words in the box in the conversation, right? We have one. So one is three times, right? We have three times. Those twice, twice. Once, twice. That once, this once, and this once too. So you have to repeat those words based on that, right? Debemos repetir las palabras según que nos circula yo, ¿verdad? One, tres veces, dos, tres veces, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so you have to complete the two conversations with those specific words, with the most of the pronouns, one and once, right? For example, this is the first conversation. Let me give you the first one, and then you have to continue with the other ones. You have to complete the two conversations. Two mini conversations. Number one says, over here, excuse me, how much are jeans? This, this, this. this. Okay, this, are you sure? That, that, that. Yes, because it's near. 
Jinx is new. Okay, he's near. Yeah. But look at the woman. Look at the woman. This is the woman. This is a woman that is ah, looking okay. for the gifts. Okay, okay. How much are that these bees. or those? These. Those. Those. Because those. remember, remember that this is in plural. This is in plural. Okay. It's okay, Mario. No problem. See, it's a good thing. Is those. Those. Yeah. That. Those. Yeah. So the woman, the woman is far. Is far from the jeans. This is the seller. This is the seller. This is the person okay. in the store. So that's why it is. Excuse me. How much are those jeans? Those jeans. That's in plural. Jeans is in plural. This is in plural. Yeah. Okay, let's continue with the other ones. Which do you mean? One. One. Continue. I will give you some time. I will give you a few minutes because it's almost time. And then we're going to do it together. No problem. Let's go. I will give you three minutes and then we're going to discuss together. Continue with the conversation and then you to, you're going to complete number two. Go ahead. Continue. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Continue. Complete it. One stitch. Okay, okay. Remember this, please. The words are in the box. Use them in the conversation. One, three times. So we have one in those conversations three times. Those this are one, three veces. Those twice, two veces. Once, twice, two veces. That, once, una vez. This, and this, once, equal, right? Ambos, Una vez, this and this. Okay, let's continue with the conversation. You're gonna help me. Number one, we said that is those. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Let's continue with the conversation. Which? Once. One. Once. Once. Yeah, once. What, what, why is once? Why is once? And not one. Because there are several genes. Yes, about yeah. One. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once is, is once, as you said, because yeah, we have several genes. And this is in plural. Plural. Genes is plural. Which ones? Do you mean 
What is next? This. Do you mean? This. This? Do you mean this? this? Okay. Very good. Do you mean this? Because now the, the seller is talking. So he is uh, reaching, he is reaching the, the jeans or he she is touching the jeans, right? So it's different. Do you mean this? Very good. No, the light. One. Blue. One. 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 <coughs> okay, let's see the answer. No, the light blue ones, because it's blue, remember, I'm talking about jeans. No, the light blue ones. Oh, so what is it next? Oh, R59.95. What is next? Oh, these? These, those. Okay, Bucks. I listen to this, those, that. The answer is those, because we're talking about the gym, in plural. Those are $59.95. Wow, that's expensive. That is the end of the conversation, right? Very good. Let's go with number two. Number two. How much is... Backpack. This backpack. This. 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 Okay. Next, which? Which one? Which one? Yeah, which one? This case because it's singular. Next, the orange? The orange one. The orange one. Yeah. The orange one. It's $36.99. What? What? Those. 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 Oh. Oh, we already yeah. used those twice. Yeah, oh. yeah, those. These. These. This. 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 Green. This. Green. Yeah, this. Green. This green. What is next? The last one? Green. One. One. Yes. So now, yes. The man is... Potion probably is touching the green one. So this backpack, the green one. So now, yeah, he said, this green one is only 22.25. That's not bad. Can I say it, please? Okay. So that's the way, that's the way. So in this case, with letter B, that's why we use this, this green one, is only 22, 25. It's because the woman, the woman is saying about that. Mm -hmm. It's 36, 39. But this green one is 22, 25. That's not bad. I see it, please? Okay, so this is the way we use the most of the pronouns. One and ones. One and ones. All right. Any questions, guys? No question, teacher. Somebody else? No. Okay. No question. Amazing. No question, teacher. Well, these were the demonstratives, the demonstrative pronouns, and we have the pronouns one and ones. Remember, we can replace uh, the nouns. Instead of that, we can use one and ones as in this conversation, right? That's a way. Very good job. Well, everybody, we're going to start right here because this is the last part of the class.
Uh, I want to know before to go if you have if you have any questions about the, the class, about the platform. <laughs> sure. Let me know, please. Para saber si hay preguntas antes de finalizar con respecto mm. a, a la clase, a la plataforma. No, teacher. Thanks. No, no, okay. Question. Thank you. Uh, let me see before to go. Well, everybody, thank you so much for being here during this class. And yeah, we're starting the week. It's nice meeting you and yeah, seeing you in classes. We will continue tomorrow, guys. Don't forget that tomorrow we're going to do the midterm, right? Um, and yeah, let's get ready for that exam. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Stay safe and God bless you. Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.